fraction. The square root of 7.139 divided by 4 multiplied by 6. On will to read on Claire Cash and you. Tom, after who are two free Sean? Sean? Our numerous mo, Leroy, near who look. Fresh a horse name. Fresh a horse? No! Detention! You would write a 10,000 word essay on bones and a skeleton. Hi, I'm Starvin Marvin and I'm here to help you with the bones of your essay. The skeletal system is made up of bones, cartilage, ligaments and tendons. Bones come in all different shapes and sizes. The stapes bone is the smallest bone. This bone is found in the ear. The femur is the largest bone. It's in your leg. A baby's body has approximately 300 bones at birth, whereas an adult's body has 206 bones. Over time, some of a baby's 300 bones fuse together to form an adult's 206 bones. More than half of the body's bones are in hands and feet. There are three main functions of the skeleton. Firstly, to support the body and facilitate movement. There are two different types of bone. There are axial bones that keep you upright like your ribs and the spine. And appendicular bones to help you move, like your legs and arms. We have joints in order to facilitate movement. Joints are where bones meet. Bones can't move by themselves. We need cartilage, ligaments, muscles and tendons to help support movement. We have different types of joints. Fixed joints which don't move in our skull. Pivotal joints which allow for a twisting motion, like turning our head. Hinge joints allow for bending and straightening, like the knee and the elbow. Ball and socket joints which allow for much greater movement, like your shoulders. The second function is to protect your vital organs. The skull protects your brain. The ribcage protects your lungs, heart, and other organs. The vertebrae protects the spinal cord. The third function is to produce blood cells. Certain bones in the skeleton, for example the pelvis, contain red bone marrow. This produces platelets and red and white blood cells. If a doctor suspects you have a broken or fractured bone, they send you for an x-ray. This allows them to see the bones inside your body. An x-ray is quick and painless. If you have a break or fracture, you may need a cast, boot or brace, so the bones knit together properly. After a fracture, the body forms a blood clot around the break to protect it and to deliver cells needed for healing. Tissue forms around the broken bone. This is called a callus. It joins the broken bone together. First it is soft and then it gets harder with time. So, what can I do to protect my bones? Wear a helmet when required and consume a calcium-rich diet. Flancha!